Hey everybody, welcome back to the Urban Aviary. Uh, we've got a lot of cool things going on around here right now and I wanted to show you one of those today. Um, last fall, um, when I had uh, my flock back at the old property, um, I started doing some experimental breeding with the quail and I came up with uh, a color pattern that I, I thought was gonna be a, a different color. I'd been experimenting with all sorts of different colors and, and breeds of Coternics and I, I came up with this new color pattern and I thought it was gonna it was some new color that I you know I'd never seen before. It was really, really neat. So as they got older I realized that they just turned had normal um Coternix markings on it. They didn't turn out with this reddish color like I thought they were gonna it's, they have kind of a red tint to them. So I, I found out just this year from another breeder turned me on to the fact that those are actually sex links. Now if you guys don't know what that is um, if you're familiar with chickens, that's more of a familiar thing with chickens, um, where you can tell the gender of the bird by feather color at hatch. So by just looking at them, you can you can tell tell the gender. Now normally it takes up to like five weeks before you can be perfectly sure um, or somewhat sure, reasonably sure if you've got hens or roosters. But these sex links you can actually tell from from the day of hatch. I'm going to show you them real quick here. I've got a, a hen and a rooster right here. So. This is gonna be what the rooster will look like, the males look like, just a normal um, ferro coloration. And then you can tell the hens have this, if we can get it to, to focus here. They kind of have, uh, the, the camera doesn't really do it justice, but it has kind of a, a reddish tint to it. We'll put the male here next to it for for comparison, but right there on in my left hand is the rooster and right here is the hen. Um, so those, oh, let's get this back up here. Those are called sex links. Um, so now instead of having to wait several weeks and finding out how many hens and roosters you have, you know as soon as you're um, incubator is done as soon as your your brood's done, your hatch is done. Um, the cool thing about that is that most people um, need more hens than roosters and now if you know how many roosters you have you can get rid of some of them before you have to spend the money to feed them and get them up to full grown size. You can either sell them on a Craigslist or something if, if not and you just need to get rid of them somebody will take them from you for free if you put, it on, put them on Craigslist. Um, so I thought that was really cool I wanted to show you guys um, the, the bad thing about them, the only downside is that once they breed again, the genes don't stay true. So their genetics won't pass on there. You're not gonna get that every single time. Um, I'm working on that. Maybe we can do that in the future and get that to where they can um, um, breed that true and, and keep it going so that every hatch, every generation will be able to tell. Um, I'm gonna put a link up here if you guys are interested in getting some of these. Um, I am doing hatching eggs now. Um, if you are interested in getting these uh, shipped to you, um, I can get them shipped out to you now. We're doing um, these sex links, um, the regular jumbo uh, ferro, and a mixed coloration um, option. Uh, so if you want to uh, check that out, if you guys are interested, interested in getting those, go to theurbanaviary.com. The website's changed now. It's theurbanaviary.com. Uh, a lot of stuff going on over there, cool stuff. We're going to be adding a lot of products to make that thing a whole store. Um, based around quail and raising quail and everything you guys are going to need. In the upcoming months, I will literally have everything up there that you guys will need. Also working on an ebook. Um, obviously, all of the information um, I give you guys will be for free. I'm just trying to get it consolidated into a, a book, an ebook, so if you, anybody wants it for, for reference, I'm not having to go back and shift, sift through all the videos. Um, that'll be available sometime in the future. So keep an eye out for that. And again, if you want to, um, if you're interested in getting sex links, sex link chicks, um, go ahead and, and click that that link and I'll also put it down in the, the video description. These things are really cool. Um, this can really save you guys um, a lot of headache and, and not having to raise more birds than you need to up to full size just to get the you know the right amount of hens. So I thought this was really cool. You guys might appreciate it now that we're selling them. Um, I wanted to share it with you guys too. So go ahead, check out the website and let me know if there's anything else you guys want from me, more videos you want. We're getting going, the spring coming around the corner. So we'll be doing a lot more breeding and doing a lot more uh, videos with some new incubators, uh, more cages, 
um, a lot of cool stuff coming up. So let me know um, at my new email address, which is theurbanaviary at gmail.com. That's going to be the new email address from now on if you guys have any questions or comments for me. And remember, until that next time, you guys can do this too.